Hello everybody, it's Hags from Perth and I hope you're all doing well. I've had a few requests to show some people how I lube my production CZ and no better time to do it than now. So first things first, make sure your firearm's empty, no magazine, no ammo, no ammo around your in your workspace. And we need to line up those two dots, one on the slide, one on the frame to take the slide stop out. And the best way I find to do that is to actually put your finger through the trigger guard and use these four fingers to clamp down on the slide and just push, line it up. That way you can hold it with one hand and your other hand's free to work. You line up those two etchings, turn the gun around and tap that slide stop out. And I just pull the slide back to the rear and let the tension and spring force of the recoil spring slide it off for me. And while we've got the bottom end in our hands, I'll show you where I like to put a little bit of lube. This is just a field strip re-lube. Obviously you'd wipe out the dirt and I'll do another video on how to clean the gun properly. One field and one more intentional for long-term maintenance. But while we've got this gun apart, I'll show you what lube I use. It's Weapon Shield from George Fennel. It's available from DB Shooting Supplies in Australia. It's a really good lube and all the testing I've seen done on it uh, shows it's got a very high ratio compared to other lubes for seizing on bearings. So it, it works really, really well. It's got a lovely fragrance to it. One of the spots I like to put a drop of oil is on the trigger return spring. You want to keep that moist or a little bit lubed because you don't want it rusting and breaking. I have seen some springs break because they're that dry and there's been spots of rust on it so it weakens the wire. Another important one that, that does that if it's not kept well maintained is the firing pin return spring, especially the thin wired ones. So we've put a drop on there. I like to run a little line between the frame and the trigger bar on both sides just like that. On top of the lug of the trigger bar, little drop on each side. One drop on the sear spring, and I like to put a little drop on each claw of the hammer where it meets the sear. That's pretty much all I do on the bottom end, on the frame. When we go to the slide, some of the hardest working parts of the firearm are the cam, where the slide stop goes through and the lugs. So in these areas, I like to use a grease and it's also a weapon shield grease. I keep mine in a jar, it does come in a syringe. It's just easier to store in my, my little toolbox. So you wanna get that in to the cam. It's a lot better to put it directly where you want it to be rather than on the slide stop because when you push this through the frame of the firearm, it pushes all that lube off onto the frame and it doesn't really get to where you need it. So just get a little bit in there. That's good. And then another spot is the lugs. You don't need a lot. You don't want to put too much on there. Grease goes further than oil. It stays in place a bit better. There we go. And another spot is on the barrel itself where it goes through the cone. You'll see how far to put that on because there'll be shiny spots wherever it wears against the cone in the slide. And that's pretty much it. Drop that back into the slide. And what's left on your fingers I refer to as finger lube. I just run that on the guide rod and on the spring. Put that back together. more spots on the slide. The underside where the hammer runs, there's continuous friction there with the hammer underneath the slide. So a little line of lube along there lubes the hammer. And the front of this is what strips around out of the magazine and chambers it. And the back of this is what cocks your hammer. So there's a lot of work going on there. And then on the rails of the slide, just drop a big drop down the side and let it run down with the muzzle pointing down, turn it around. Same thing on that side, nice big drop, and it'll run down in the direction where you need it to go. And that's about it. Take your frame, 
put it over the top, work it down, as they do through all the rails. Line up your two dots, drop in your slide stop, and give it a tap. And that's it. It's amazing how nice and smooth the firearm feels with that grease and a fresh lube. Have a good day and look after yourselves. Take care. I'll speak to you next time. Cheers.